Cold. If you look up the definition of cold, you'll probably find one word. Detroit. Detroit is cold in so many different aspects from the weather, hearts, shoulders, even talent. Outside, here it gets colder than harsh projection. We call the cold wind the hawk. And when the hawk is out, you better be in something. When the river looks like this, it's a wrap. So I better get acclimated. What better place to learn from than the surplus guys at Joe's Army on 14 Mile? How's it going? Hey, I am. Um, so, I'm doing this uh, thing. I, um, I'm showing people how to survive without a house. Okay. So I sold all the furniture, got rid of the apartment. Interesting, yeah. 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 Show them how to survive and actually come out of. Yeah, the bottom, that kind of thing. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, uh, starting to get cold, mm -hmm. and I need to not freeze to death. Okay. So sleeping wise, what what would somebody who's let's say if they had a tent, mm -hmm. how would they stay warm in the winter? Okay. So there's two things. Uh, well, a couple things actually we have. So we sell like uh, pads, okay. which are good because they'll separate you from the cold ground. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have sleeping bags that range from 30 degrees to negative 30 degrees, basically. Really? Yeah. Some of the military ones, if you put all the pieces together, because mm -hmm. they'll come in separate pieces, kind of, you yeah. like snap them in. Yeah. Those are what's current issue. Um, and those are good till I think negative 25 actually. So I, I, I was in the military mm -hmm. before and, um, the sleeping bag we had back in the nineties, mm -hmm. we had, a. Uh, I was a mechanic in mm -hmm. there. So we had this tool, this tool, um, trailer or whatever. Mm -hmm. And I would put a piece of wood over all of the tools, put the sleeping bag in there, t get totally undressed mm -hmm. and get the sleeping bag. It'd be cold as hell outside. Yeah, yeah. And I was totally fine. Uh -huh, yeah. I don't know if it was a zero degree, mm -hmm. But they have sleeping bags where you can literally get in there below zero and you're yeah. still warm. Yeah, and a lot of those, if they say negative 25, I always tell people to add 10 degrees because there's like a survive, survivor, survivability rating, meaning like if it's negative 25, you won't freeze to death, but you're probably not going to be very comfortable. You know what I mean? Oh, uh, it's still so going to be You'll be kind of comforted until like 10, 10, 15 degrees. Gotcha. Uh, but you'll survive the night even if it's that cold. how expensive are they uh the military ones the most expensive ones we have are 279 279 but the other sleeping bags start at about 30 bucks really yeah you can get a decent sleeping bag for 40 50 bucks oh wow yeah but detroit so if somebody's in their car now they're not in the tent mm -hmm. they're not on the ground they're in the car, they can kind of heat the car up for a little while, yeah, yeah. but you know, you can't leave it running all night. Yeah, and it'll get cold fast. As yeah, turn the on, would so. you still recommend the zero degree one? Yeah, in Michigan, I mean, you don't have to get the military one, that's just the nicest, most warm one we have. Mm -hmm. We also carry like aftermarket ones that are negative 20, and those are usually about 60, 70 bucks. And they're so just as good? Yeah, I can show you that yeah, if you yeah. want. Yeah, Bill, um, and you know. Mm -hmm. Just thick. That's basically what you're getting. And this is below 20. Yeah. And then there's other ones. Like, this is the more old school ones. Yeah. With the flannel. Mm -hmm. um, it's probably a little more comfortable. But also, if it gets wet, anything like that, it's it a wrap. takes forever to dry. Yeah. Um, where these ones are not waterproof, but almost instantaneously they dry. Okay, so let's say you knew you was you were going to lose your home or something mm -hmm. and you had to survive in the car for a year, mm -hmm. but you had like 5,000 yeah. to get prepared for it. Yeah. What would you buy? Uh, I'd buy a middle of the range one. I don't think I would go for the $100 one because you can pair like a 10 degree one for third this one's $35. Mm -hmm. And you can get blankets and sheets, you know, things that you probably already have at your home, I right. would imagine. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, you, you could, at 10 degrees, I mean, there's probably going to be some cold nights in Michigan anyways where you're going to have to... Yeah, we've had some below zeros yeah, before. You're going to have to throw on some blankets, some uh, covers, things like that. So you wouldn't do close to $300? I wouldn't. I mean, if I was sitting outside, you know... Um, I mean, that's the cream of the crop, you know, mm -hmm. if, if, I guess it depends on where you rate comfortable sleep on your, and this one is 
That one is, it's the same as this one. It's just, these are just two different colors. So yeah, from 50 to negative. Negative 50. Wait a minute, no, that's this one. Yeah, so these are oh. exactly the same. They're just, just this the, is the new the, cover. Uh, the, uh, so they're, yeah. Desert BDU. Exactly, yeah. And this is the bag it comes in. Yep, exactly. It rolls up in this thing? Yeah, yeah, and these are, nowadays most things are stuff sacks, so. So, we are going to be warm. That's great. Oh, yeah. They got pillows? I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> like inflatable pillows. Really? Yeah. <laughs> what was your name? Dean. Dean. Okay, Ben. Nice to meet you. Now I'm going to yeah. be warm. Yeah, if you need anything, let me know. So, we get to test out a sleeping bag. It's not that cold, so I'm sure I'll be fine with this right now. But, he definitely said that if when it gets real cold, that don't work out. He'll be okay with exchange. So I went back to the studio, changed clothes, and we commenced to having the open house, and it went well. A lot of people came, people did podcasts on the fly. It was awesome. A lot of people showed up. It was funny. I mean, man, what a great time. So now the business is officially open, and we are ecstatic that it is finally open. Then you have to shut it all down. It was a lot of work putting this place together. A lot of hard-earned money, a lot of sweat, a lot of frustration, things not working, learning, designing, redesigning, setting up, breaking down. But now we got it all together. Well, back to the car. Let's change clothes. guess now we're gonna try a new sleeping bag out still really haven't found a place I can go and not be bothered but I figured this time I'm gonna ask instead of just pirating parking lots we'll see how that works out humility I like to use the word humility over humble because humble means having or showing a modest or low estimate of one's own importance. Well, I think I'm very important and I think highly of myself and I know my abilities. I know what I can do. And I also know what I can't do, which is nothing. No condition decreases my capabilities. I was simply trained that way to survive. See, when you're in the military, you end up in situations where you don't even have this roof or this car and you still have to produce great things. So why is it so frowned upon when you're living back here and you take the same measures? It doesn't make sense. I think it's a mind frame thing. I think people equate having a house to success, but it's a lot of unhappy homes. A lot of people that are trapped in their homes. <laughs> People don't realize I could sell all of the stuff in my studio and cash out a house. It's just not what I want. It's been a long day. It will not be a long night this evening. The night is so peaceful and creepy at the same time. Nobody's out, but you're wondering who's out. It's a little scary, but it's also an adventure to me. So I'm riding around, trying to see if there's a side street close to the main street that doesn't have a no parking sign. All of them do. Like I said, it's illegal to sleep in your car. Could you imagine going to jail for going to sleep where nobody is? Could you imagine for somebody who's down in their luck, the mental stress it would give them? But tonight I'm asking. <coughs> People in the park go, oh, 
boy over there before? Yeah. Oh, okay. Thanks. I appreciate it. Yep, yep. Got somewhere to park. Finally, somewhere I had permission to park at. Well lit and dark at the same time. You still have to go to sleep late because you have to go where nobody is. So your sleep patterns change. I never noticed how the clouds move in such unison. The world is in sync except for us humans. Crazy. Something just as simple as somebody saying, go ahead, no problem, made my night so much easier. Just a little bit of humanity. <laughs> it can go a long way. Damn, this sleeping bag is too small. I can't even zip it up. Listen, I'ma spit this vivid. You might not get it like a Christmas wish list. The world is the North Pole, and I live in it like gifts and no Saint Nicholas. You live amongst the thieves, gotta learn how to prowl. With the wolves, I can howl. The lions, I can growl. It's all about get it and fuck who don't got it. And if it don't make a profit, then it's hot garbage. I can say that the bread don't make me and y'all don't exist without dough like a pastry. I go back on my word like backspace and make songs for y'all talking about how much cash I make. When in Rome, we must act as the Romans. Bullshit is like a hotel and we the doormen. I'ma be me until my soul is doormen. On some froze shit, on some cold to shit. Yeah. the winner, you gotta be cold. I never heard the wind complain when 